I want to go fast. Attention oncoming riders, I'm Trace and this is D News. We're back to talk about Elon Musk's plan to get you from San Francisco to LA faster than you can watch a full episode of French. Seriously, it's that fast. The Hyperloop is a futuristic transport system, a combination of a bullet train, a Jetsons transport tube, and a maglev train. It was designed to link cities less than a thousand miles apart. The loop would run back and forth between the two cities, elevated on earthquake resistant pylons, and would be topped with solar panels. The 350 mile trip could be made in 35 minutes, meaning the capsules within would be traveling around 1290 kilometers per hour. Using Musk's open source design, a capsule could depart either station every two minutes, carrying 14 passengers or three cars, depending on the configuration. Using the SpaceX CEO's design, the Hyperloop would float in the tube similar to an air hockey puck, bank around turns like current high-speed rail, and be pulled along by the tube's built-in magnetic rings. Only required, by the way, every 110 kilometers. It's cheap to ride, it's convenient, it's frickin' fast, and we explained it pretty well in an earlier video. But until the Hyperloop becomes reality, what super high-speed systems do we have now for traveling less than a thousand miles. Currently, the fastest non-flight system that will get you from point A to point B is the JR Maglev MLX-01 in Japan. It set the world record for train speed back in 2003, achieving over 580 kph using magnetic levitation. Using superconducting electromagnets arranged in a figure eight pattern, the train floats above the track, though it has rubber wheels for slower speeds. This was only done on a test track, however, so the fastest operating train is the TGV in France. It's got a top speed of 575 kilometers per Hour. Funny thing though, France has enjoyed 320 kph trains since 1981. Yeah, 30 years. We were still driving everywhere at like 55 miles an hour back then. The Japanese company who makes the MLX-01 says they could get reliable safe speeds of 500 kph in the next decade or so. If you go off the rails, speeds drop considerably. The fastest commercial land transport would likely happen on the German Autobahn, where the recommended speed is 130 kph. However, there are still suctions that remove that limit altogether, with drivers pegging their BMWs at like 300 kph. Though the $2.4 million Bugatti Veyron Supersport can go 429 kilometers per hour, the problem is other cars can't, so they would get in the way. The tech and science world are having a field day discussing this super fast Hyperloop project, but there are currently zero plans to actually build it. Musk did say he's thinking of building a demonstration prototype, but for now he's calling the design open source in the hope that the state of California will consider replacing their current plans, which are slower, costlier, and old school rail, with this cool Hyperloop. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. Tell us, would you want to ride the Hyperloop? Leave a comment down below and be sure you subscribe to DNews for all the news, all the days of the week. See you later.